नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर अंकित पारख एंड आई वर्क एज अ कंसल्टेंट इन पीडियाट्रिक पलमनोलॉजी एंड एलर्जी एट चिल्ड्रंस चेस्ट क्लिनिक न्यू डेली सो इन दिस वीडियो वील टॉक अबाउट एटोपिक डर्माटाइटिस और एक्जीमा एंड बेदिंग the lot of common questions which parents ask us doc so should i bathe my child daily or every alternate day or once a week what soap should i use can i use bath oils what moisturizer should i use and are there any special baths which are available for children with atopic eczema so as we know that children with atopic eczema have a very dry skin the skin barrier is defective and hence they tend to lose out moisture in such situations bathing is something which needs utmost attention children with atopic eczema or dermatitis should be given bath every day the water should be lukewarm and not very cold or not very hot the bathing time should be approximately 5 to 10 minutes both showering or bathing are considered appropriate depending on what the child actually likes to do we should make sure that after we have bathed the child just dry the skin by patting now what soaps or cleansers can be used we should understand that the the skin of the child is quite dry and it tends to lose moisture and hence using harsh soaps sometimes can lead to a bad effect on the skin and make it even more dry hence it is recommended to use soaps which do not have any scents of fragrance they do not have chemicals and they have a neutral ph there are certain non soap cleansers which are available especially for children with atopic dermatitis which can be used now can we use bath oils in addition to bathing well yes you can use bath oils which can be helpful they should again be fragrance free and chemical free otherwise they are going to irritate the skin during bathing now what should be the routine after taking a bath now as i said that the after taking a bath the skin should not be dried vigorously with a towel it should be just pat dry to remove the excess amount of water so layer of moisture should be available on the skin and immediately after drying the skin a layer of moisturizer should be applied liberally all across the body immediately now this is what is known as the soak and seal technique and this helps to retain moisture inside the skin this routine should be followed for all children in children who are old who are going to school might find it difficult to do this in the morning and you can schedule a bath just before going to bed which can help retain moisture inside the skin now are there any special baths which are available for children with atopic dermatitis well in certain situation we use specialized baths they can be bleach baths they can be oatmeal baths and they can be something known as vinegar baths So if your child is having an atopic dermatitis do consult an allergy specialist to understand how to take care of your child's skin and keep them absolutely well so thank you very much for more information do log on to our website ankitparak.com